I feel like you could be influenced by any kind of music at all because it's the one thing that like everybody has in common. Everyone's kind of attached to the pulse, like the beat of like our existence, I guess. Like kind of everyone has a heartbeat. Everyone, you know, has a feel for that kind of rhythm, I guess. But I'm all part of the flow. Yeah. Whatever we feel, we pretty much put it down, whether it's a high energy acoustic jam, whether it's a slow, kind of softer, mellow acoustic jam. We like to write music that emits what we're thinking, what we're feeling. We put a lot of emotion into what we play. We put a lot of energy into what we play and we, we like to put a message in everything we play. So I think it's, it's very organic, it's very um, natural. My family's always been very supportive um, because we've kind of always had music in our family. Um, it goes all the way back to my grandmother. She always wanted all our cousins to get together and sing, you know, when, when we were together in the holidays and stuff. Yeah, I know my parents uh, really supported me with music and really find that there's a unique talent that I, uh, that I share with Brad and, um, with, and also the connection that we have with people when we play live shows. It's an extreme uh, decision, I guess, uh, moving all the way down in Jacksonville and committing ourselves to playing music for the rest of our lives. What made you guys come to Jacksonville? What about Jacksonville really appeals to you about this town? Recording in Jacksonville has been great. We've been recording on our own, producing on our own, doing video on our own and everything on an amateur level now for about three and a half years. It's been working out really well. We had our, our album destination, it's sounding amazing. And it's, it's, the process has been awesome. Very high energy, very positive experience. The, the writing, the producing, mixing, it's all coming out very, very well. My experience in the studio has been a very good one in terms of learning more about the recording process, learning more about how tight you need to be while you're rehearsing, while you're actually recording it. Um, because if there's something that's a little bit off, then you just gotta take it again. This is a very big changing moment in our career. What influences has the band have musically over the years? I'd say anything I've ever even heard. I would agree. I was just inspired pretty much by like Fish and like Bela Fleck, um, bands like that that really kind of pushed the envelope and just made their Every day they made great music. We take influences from wherever we can, that's for sure. Describe your sound a little bit. I mean, how does it turn out that, you know, you have all these influences and yet you have such a unique sound? I guess the way we like to do it and the way we like to write music is just, first of all, we, we like to try out different sounds. We like to play around with something on the guitar. And then we just, we kind of try and see what kind of emotion we can get out of it, I guess. And that what really dictates how the lyrics come through. The band that we would want to listen to our stuff would be the band that we would want to listen to our stuff. And like it, and dig it, and, and, and say, hey, I like that. If I could only pick one. Who would it be? I almost feel like it would be, it might be Bob Marley for me, personally. Uh huh. Because Bob Marley has passed away, so it's, I know I, the Whalers. But, but, <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. But music lasts forever, so I feel like music, it, it could still be like if I could meet this artist, I would want it to be him. Like the soul of Bob Marley. In a hypothetical situation, <laughs> if I wanted to. No, I completely agree. Like if, if we had one artist that we've thought was influential that we'd want to like stop and say yeah that band's cool I like their stuff and I listen to their stuff I mean if Bob Marley was still alive the A that would be really cool yeah the B that would be awesome my name is Michael Ishom and Brad Hester and we are Annie in the Water and we just uh, wanted to say thanks for listening to and watching our interview here at Ponte Vedra Beach Florida so yeah. we hope you enjoyed the music thank you thank you and Take care. Happy days. <laughs>